Calante level, we should examine that. Um, you've seen a few. A few maneuvers there. It's positively been a few vol and unstable name. And one individuals have been picking. Yet I believe you're feeling and seeing some, uh, not feeling, yet seeing some negative action. No, there's some bullish action in here. Definitely, there's some bullish, no doubt, bullish movement in here. Likewise, Nicole, I mean, the stock's up, what, almost half up to this point. This year, up 177%. Simply in June alone, and afterward, uh, over the course of the several declarations that they had, uh, as far as new, um, new uh, client options, they're broadening contracts paler. They reported, uh, an organization with Star Lab Space, the U.S. worldwide joint endeavor across space. Airbus Mitsubishi, among others, as an essential accomplice. Now, this will be a, a long-term uh, organization there. And afterward, they were uh, granted a $19 million agreement uh, from cutting-edge research projects, organization for well-being, uh, to assist them with supporting business OPER tasks, empower constant improvement, utilizing their artificial intelligence models. Now, this organization's for quite some time served the requirements of U.S. Safeguard knowledge. Local area, yet they've extended more into the business and public area information. Executives examination stages. So, this has been one of those warm names. That is T, been, uh, that the man-made intelligence exchanges grabbed hold of. Likewise, and we saw some more bullish action in here. Today, stock was up more than 2% at one point prior on the meeting. Uh, now, down on the day, uh, yet having a very decent year. Yet, we saw some uncommon choice action out in the July month to month cycle. So, around 29 days to lapse, brokers purchased north of 7,000 of the July 27th strike calls. Normal charge of about a buck five. So that uh, equal the initial investment of 28. 05 over the course of the following month, that is around 11% over the flow. Share cost in there with call volume, about two full ordinary day to day. Normal volume that we've seen over the course of the past seven day stretch of exchanging. And we've seen a ton of volume in Palante level over the last uh, uh, two or three weeks here in June as the stock's risen practically 18%. As of late, it was uncovered that Paleno is taking its mastery in information examination and artificial intelligence skill to space, subsequent to shaping an essential association with an organization called Star Lab Space. In the present video, we will investigate this arrangement and discuss whether it could assist with sending the stock to the moon and past. Furthermore, we'll discuss Argus Exploration's new note on Paler stock and why the Money Road firm remaining parts bullish on the stock, regardless of its dubious valuation, which even drove one expert to say that it has a ravenous valuation. We'll investigate the two suppositions, so you can choose for yourself on the off chance that Paler stock merits wagering on yet. Before we get into the present video, to stay aware of Palin's most recent updates, and stay aware of the financial exchange's most recent news, you can follow our Twitter account. We post on various occasions every day about the greatest changes and impetuses on the lookout. So click the follow button to miss the freshest market. Refreshes now. Back to the video we should get to. Paler, it's exchanging at 2388 today. A portion of your viewpoints there. Kenny, so Palente is additionally exchanging at 2388. It's up another 28. You realize 28 pennies here today. It's in, the, it's in the right space, right? The application programming computer-based intelligence space, it's been, there's a ton of prattle around palant level uh, this year, right? It's been stuck in the event that you take a gander at it throughout the previous five months. Truly in this sort of, in $19.25 territory as you go across, it's been somewhat floating by and large around the pattern lines on the south side. On the north side, we're back toward the north side of each of the three pattern lines now. Um, uh, and, you know, as they foster in this simulated intelligence space, as they foster its structure items, its social geospace, everything we're discussing, I believe that will keep on filling this, right? The market. 
now assuming that the market eases off, which you realize it might, it's likewise in the development space, that it's presumably going to get hit, right? Tech will presumably get hit since it, it has out previously. Yet I believe you will see the disadvantage risk here is in the glance at the graph. Well, Ben will show you presumably in the 2021 is range. Um, again, the firm possesses it in one of our portfolios. I don't yet, the firm does better believe it. And Argus um, today put a purchase rating. Um, I don't know whether that is another rating. Perhaps they just emphasize it yet. They have a $29 uh, dollar target. So they, in all actuality, do like this one, Ben me, with this call. Polena is obviously hoping to vanquish space as it figured out an agreement with Starlab to turn into its elite provider of big business-wide programming information. The board answers for its business space station. Now, on the off chance that you don't know Starlab, you'd have the option to tell that it's genuine by investigating the huge names moving it. As a matter of fact, Starlab is a joint endeavor between Explorer Space, Airbus, Mitsubishi, and MDA Space. This organization is attempting to fabricate and work a business space station determined to keep a human presence in low Earth circle and progress examination and science from the Global Space Station worked by five separate government space organizations to business space stations. Star Labs, space station is supposed to get into space in 2028, just a little ways off of when the Global Space Station is set to be decommissioned in 2030. The joint venter said that Palenti Innovation will assist with recognizing expected issues and anticipate upkeep, delaying the existence of basic parts. It likewise said that they will utilize plenty information demonstrating through computerized twins and artificial intelligence, advances to improve Star Labs activities. All through the venture financial backers ought to remember that this isn't Palin's most memorable agreement, including out of space. As a matter of fact, starting around 2021, the organization has been working with the U.S. Space Force, a part of the U.S. military by giving cloud and logical administrations to the twist core undertaking. And last year, the organization expanded three agreements with the Space Force and the US aviation-based armed forces worth a consolidated $110 million. Now we don't have the foggiest idea about the terms of Palenti managed Starlab, as the details of this association were not unveiled. Still, this association is one more illustration of how the organization's innovation is being chosen when exceptional strategic arrangements are required. Yet what's the significance here for Paler stock and financial backers? How about we figure out, hi everybody, and welcome back to Contribute Yuri. Going along with us here at Post 9 today is Dan Ives.